Hi everyone, Tithuraj Mukherjee this side. In today's video, you will be introduced to EDA which stands for Exploratory Data Analysis. So let's begin. Let us suppose all these orange boxes form a continent of which these orange boxes individually are countries. And this blue box below this continent is an ocean which is called the Pumpkin Ocean. Now, let us name the North, East, South and West countries of this continent as follows. Okay. If I want to analyze and observe the country Apple, I would have to clear all the distractions around it and focus solely on that country Apple. Let us clear all our distractions now. Here we go, one by one we are clearing all the useless things which are keeping us from analyzing the country apple. So we have our object of attention now. If I want to know how many stadiums are there in this country, I can now do it easily. So there are eight stadiums, out of which three are cricket stadiums and five are football stadiums. How is cricket played? Cricket is played by hitting a moving ball with a bat and football is played by hitting a ball which is bigger than a cricket ball with the legs. Out of the three cricket stadiums in the country, Apple, two stadiums host matches all throughout the year and one of those stadiums out of three hasn't ever hosted a match in the last 11 years. So I can consider it to be an abandoned stadium and out of the five football stadiums, I can see that only one football stadium hosts matches regularly, whereas four stadiums out of the five hasn't hosted matches over an average of 12.5 years. So in this case also, I can consider these four stadiums to be abandoned. Now, in the case of cricket stadiums, the majority of all the stadiums is functional and for the football stadiums, the majority of the stadiums are dysfunctional. So I can only consider the cricket stadiums for our analysis. So why did I reject the football stadiums? It's because majority of the columns are abandoned. That means they are not serving any purpose for analysis. They are not of any help to me. They're not giving me any data. That's why it's fit to be abandoned. Exploratory data analysis is taking unclean data or unstructured data, cleaning it thoroughly to make it free from impurities, analyzing it carefully and making it ready for machine learning model building. Let us consider a scenario now. We have this table of car details, which has manufacturing ID as one column, top speed, BHP, color, type, whether it has airbags or not, and its price in rupees lakhs. So in this table, I have to predict the price of any new car, which is feed it to a machine learning model. So it is a continuous variable. Let us classify all these columns. The first column that is manufacturing ID is a qualitative column. And for a machine learning model, it is of no use. Usually the top speed and BHP columns are continuous columns. It contains numbers. The color type and airbags column are categorical because it signifies some categories like yes or no, some colors, etc. And as we discussed, the price column is a continuous target. It's our target variable, which is continuous in nature. Now, since qualitative column is not 
useful or helpful from a machine learning model perspective, we drop that column at the first place. Then we check if any of the columns are there, which contains maximum of missing values. So I can see that BHP, color and type contains missing values. But color contains only one value and majority of them are missing. In the subject of exploratory data analysis, if more than 30% of data is missing from a column, we drop that column or we delete that column from the data set like this. Then we go on to our next step. BHP contains one missing value and type contains one missing value. We have to treat this, right? Either way, either we can delete this one record because it is not making much of a difference. One out of five is a, is a minor number. And for the type also, we can do the same. And alternatively, we can replace this missing value with some respective values, which are called the imputed values. This process is called imputation. BHP, since it's a continuous column, we have to replace the missing value with the median of all the non-zero values or non-null values. So in our case, the BHP columns median is 102.5 and the missing value of type column will be replaced by the mode of the type column. Now why mode? Because type is a categorical column and its mode is considered. BHP was a continuous column and its median was considered. Okay. So petrol is the mode of this column because petrol occurs three times, whereas diesel occurred only once. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it and got value out of this content. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of latest videos. In our next video, we will be expanding further on EDA and we will be seeing, we will be seeing and emphasizing on graph plotting, visual relationship strength tests and statistical relationship strength tests. Thank you so much for watching this video.